Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you some startup tips for TeamSpeak. Firstly, you want to go to settings, then to options. You want to set up your mic first. Basically, what you want to do is you want to speak into your mic while in this, in this desk, desk. and mm -hmm. um, you want to see where your mic is when you speak when you're with your normal speech you want to see where it starts and where it ends so basically I'll show you an example see my, see, my, 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 my mic, mic is echoing, echoing over, over there. there so, so I, I want to set, set it, it higher, higher. higher so, so that when, when I'm not, not speaking, speaking uh, people, people can't, can't hear my audio yeah. so yeah so you with this mic for example um, I have put microphone boost on so it is much higher than my normal use I would normally not have 20 decibels extra of microphone boost um, and normal level would be about minus 40 decibels down there I would normally have it there at my just below minus 10 so you want to put it about 10 decibels less than I mean more than what your actual the where the gre actual green bar is so let me just sit my back okay um, you want to tick all of these um, when you start it will basically be like so you want to tick all of them you want to tick all of these um, I leave mine on 10% uh, which is fine you want to use automatically best mode because these two sometimes they do make your quality less uh, you can either use default on this or you can actually choose which input you want uh, I only have the one input so I may as well leave it on default ok uh, second most important thing playback um, if you're having difficulty hearing people you would set this higher but the problem with setting it higher is that as you can see there values greater than zero and less than six positive six decibels might cause moderate clipping and distortion but you should still be within acceptable bounds and um, if you're in game and you're struggling to hear people uh, I would recommend that you drop your volume in the game and have this in the green because otherwise you will get that distortion and it will not be nice um, with your sound back volume um, if you set it too loud it's not a problem but testing your playback sound system as you can hear it is quite loud and you all if people connect and disconnect the whole time you will struggle to hear them so yeah so you would want to set it normally between minus 15 decibels and minus 10 decibels. I'll go ahead and put one on minus 15. Testing your User entered your system. channel. As you can hear, user has entered my channel. Um, you want to keep the sound expansion on mono to stereo. User unless you would really channel. like it to go into this, your center speaker. If you have surround, if you have a good center speaker. Um, you would also, if you wanted to have each person in a different area, like for example, user 1 would be in front left, user 2 would be front right, user 3 would be um, rear left, and user 4 would be rear right. Um, you could set that with this, always set clients uh, 3D positions when available. Um, this own client mic clicks would be like if you used a walkie talkie that white noise that you would hear like that sound it would play that it's not that loud and this of course your sound back volume is full blast um, so yeah that's playback now for hotkeys go ahead and save that um, I find for most games the best thing to do 
would be um, using numpad star or asterisk as it's correctly called and forward slash um, asterisk you would use for toggle microphone mute um, and forward slash you would use for toggle speaker mute and that's playback downloads um, it's very simple and straightforward you have your upload bandwidth limits your download bandwidth limits your how many uploads you can have at a time limit to two as it says here um, simultaneous downloads limit to two as it says there you can also set your download location as always saved to this folder which is defaultly C uses your username and downloads you can change that at any time or you can ask for save folder on every download okay design is pretty straightforward you can there's a whole lot of themes you can choose pretty straightforward as well uh, that's not even, none of this is important really um, I've never used any of this, so um, doubt any new user would actually use this. I've also never used this as well. Okay. So, now on to connections. If you want to connect, click there, and you type in the server address which is given by the clan or wh whichever um, person's team speak you want to connect to um, for my example mine's that you just go connect and connected. it will connect you okay if you want to add that um, team speak server as a bookmark would go to add bookmarks and you can edit the label as shown here in this area so you get your address your nickname on the password your server password would, be, would go here um, don't need to set that and you can also set your default channel for example I'm in the landing zone so it'll automatically put you in the landing zone or you can set it to any of the other channels and you can also put the channel key in you can also set multiple identities, capture profiles, playback profiles but that's um, not necessary unless you have a music bot ok you would click apply after that and it will save your TeamSpeak server and then you would click ok Um, before I said that if um, all your all the people in your team speak are too soft you can set the volume there um, if you wanted to set the volume of a specific user you would go uh, change volume and you could make the, quali the, the, the volume higher or lower but the same rule applies with clipping and distortion Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe.